Hello everyone, this is Fire Centaur coming to you live from English Village and I'm standing here in the Avatar classroom. I want to show you a very cool thing about Second Life or OpenSim. This viewer too has some very nice preferences where you can change the quality of the environment. As you can see the sky is, is quite nice here in this view. I've got the sun's kind of setting. If you zoom in you can also see that there's shadows and these shadows are actually a new feature of Second Life. Uh, it came in with one of the viewers recently and it just makes the experience of being in a virtual world a lot more immersive and, and cool if you if you go over by some of the trees and the you'll see that the wind actually even moves the shadows so if you're doing any screen capturing or any machinima in Second Life you're going to want to look at your environmental settings and uh, the video settings to see to do this change because it just makes the experience much more Great. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Just go up to me. This is a Second Life Viewer 2 and go down to Preferences down here or you can press Control P. That'll open up your Preferences tab. You can go down to Graphics and I have my uh, graphics set to High. You'll also need a fast computer obviously to and a good graphics card to support these settings. I've changed my draw distance up to 512 meters so I can see a, a lot of the uh, surrounding environment. I've clicked on Transparent Water, Bump Mapping and Shiny, Local Lights, Basic Shaders, Atmospheric Shaders, Lighting and Shadows, that's important, and Ambient Oculation. Next, just press OK. The next thing you want to do is go up to World and go down to Environment Editor and choose Environment Settings. Now, I have the preset uh, set to Fixed Sky and I've selected Fine Day. This is what changes uh, the sun to be setting and looking really nice. You can set, select other presets like Coastal Sunset, that's quite nice. And there you have it. So in Second Life, if you want to do some nice machinimas, uh, go to your Environment Editor under World, Environment Editor, and you can play around with all these different presets. Um, I like to leave it on Fine Day, though. And then the next thing you want to do, just uh, to repeat, under Preferences, you want to make sure that your lighting and shadows is turned on and that you have your draw distance up to 512. And also note that this can make your Second Life and open some experience a lot slower. So if you uh, have a slower machine, you're, you're going to want to reduce your draw distance and uncheck some of these things. Anyways, this is Fire Centaur signing out right now. We'll talk to you soon. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.